Hello. Um, I know it has been so long since I posted a vlog. I'm sorry. It has just been crazy, you guys. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I just finished doing. I'm going to post this as soon as I'm done recording it. Um, it's not going to be edited. There's not going to be music in the background or anything. This is just going to be raw because I just kind of want to take a moment and capture the moment and not not fiddle around with it. So as most of you know, I am on the board for BEAR in Houston and BEAR stands for Beer Resource um, for CPS children. And what we do is we provide services and supplies to kiddos that are in CPS custody um, state custody, et cetera, kids that have been removed from their homes for various reasons. And um, myself and two other board members just went to what's called Heart Festival. And it's something that is put on by the state that we went to kind of represent Bear and get an understanding of what they do. It is heartbreaking but also heartwarming. And what it is, it's a morning and afternoon where you have all these children that are up for adoption and prospective adoptive parents are allowed to come and interact with the kids. So we were there just kind of observing. I didn't want to interact too much with the kids is I'm not a, an adoptive parent. Um, and when I say adoptive parent, these people have gone through the entire process. They're certified. They're just looking for their kid. Like they're ready. And the children that are here too are like official custody of the state now. And they're, they're for adoption. Um, And so what the Heart Festival does is it literally just gets all these kids that are ready for adoption and all these parents who are ready to adopt and, and just gets them in the same spot so they can interact with different children, um, play with them, watch them, and hopefully get to know them and make a match and um, prospective parents, they, you know, they can go to the information table and get information um, on maybe a kid that they really felt connected with. And it's amazing, but God, it's heartbreaking. Um, there's a sweet little four-year-old girl Oh, I, I looked at her information and just the trauma and heartbreak that her and her sister have been through. And anyways, um, it's such an amazing event. Like I said, heartwarming and heartbreaking. If anyone is interested in fostering ever or becoming an adoptive parent, um, I would just encourage you to look into it and talk to people and resources. It is heartbreaking to me how many kids need homes, like need not even a good home, just a safe home. Um, so, um, I took some video and pictures, I'm going to try and edit a little bit of it to see, um, if I can post some stuff. I can't really have, I can't have children's faces in it, but just kind of maybe give you guys a little idea of what it looks like without kids in it. Um, and just kind of see what the whole event looked like. But 
But anyways, I just wanted to whew, to share with you guys, um, to share with you just I just want to share with you guys. Um, so, you know, stuff like this is always a reminder for me to be thankful for what I have, um, a reminder to the, like, where I am in life, it's okay. It might not be ideal, it might not be what I want or pictured, but my goodness, I'm safe. I have a roof over my head. I have food every single day. I have water, clean water. And at the end of the day, I mean, all my basic needs are met. And these children, they just don't have But hopefully they're going to be um, adopted by families that can provide them that and they'll grow up whether they're two or 17, at least have a family and um, hopefully have a part of their life that is stable and consistent and where they're not wanting for for food or for hugs or basic human basic human needs so i'm gonna get off because um i could i think i could just go on forever but just Everyone, just remember to be thankful for what you have, even if you feel like it, if it's not enough. Um, at least, <laughs> at least you have a house or a roof and food and not someone raping you or beating you, that type of thing. Um, I know there's so many things in life that aren't ideal, but... I think sometimes we all take our safety and our basic needs for granted. And um, this was just heartbreaking and very, very eye-opening and just a, a stark reminder to just be, be grateful. And um, if you have enough room in your heart and in your house, maybe consider an option. All right, happy Saturday.